hug everyone you know. A year of community, courage and cancer. By Annette Trogolo Martin. Annette Martin believed herself to be a healthy and sturdy woman. That is, until she received a stage one breast cancer diagnosis. Cancer scary enough for the brave. But she was but for a wimp by Martin. It was downright terrifying. Martin had to swallow waves of nausea at the thought of her body being poisoned, and frequently fainted during blood duels and infusions. To add to her terror, cancer suddenly seemed to be all round her. In the months following her diagnosis, her colleagues succumbed to cancer, and five of her friends were also diagnosed. Though tempted, Martin knew she could not hide in her bed for ten months. She had a devoted husband, daughters, a tribe of friends, relations, along with work responsibilities, her graduations, anniversaries, and a roller derby belts to attend, not to mention a house to sell and a summer beach bummering to enjoy. In all the harness support, but scaring herself or anyone else, she journaled her experiences and began to re- email people who loved her and people she called my everyone. She kept them informed and reminded all to hug everyone they know. At a virtual opportunity, renewed responses became her calming strategy. Ultimately, with the help of the community, Martin found the courage within herself to face cancer with, with prevalence and humour. Introduction Most of us live within a complicated web of relationships. We admire some people for whom we have the relationships for their fortitude. We like we like others for their humour and interests. We love those who we were born to, those we birthed, those who stir the passions of our hearts and mind. Relationships webs can be a massive collection of beings, all with unique needs to recognise the gifts to share. We are not alone. We have a we have our everyone. When a crisis hits, when life throws a detour, our circles tighten, ready to worry and wanting to no help. Everyone feels the the pluck on the thread, the change in the force. Nothing is about one. Everything is connected. A brand's cancer diagnosis was my detour. It was not planned. It was not expected. It was overwhelmingly, overly screamish, wimpy, cry baby. Just thinking about the series of protocols and treatments I faced made me dizzy with nausea. When the crisis hit, my everyone hit, felt the shake in the web. The trick I learned was to keep the anxiety at bay so that my everyone, especially those closest to my heart, my daughters, my husband, and my parents, would not be frightened. I will not allow the cancer to be all about me. For me... The written word was always held a power of expression that I cannot quite articulate. Throughout my remembered life, I have filled volumes of com- composited notebooks, locked diaries and journals about my deepest thoughts. My ramblings have been paced my doubts and placed my anxieties in calm waters, allowing me to see through each crisis and trust in them. A glass half filled with marva and awaiting the end of days. When my biggest life crisis took the form of cancer, I picked up my ugly spiral notebook and let and let the writing word do the ranting, the screaming, the questioning and the recording. With the help of the journalist journaling, I could work, calm down and face the day. I was able to reach out to my everyone without panicking anyone everyone. Anyone, especially myself. Hardly, however, I credit the magic emails with saving my sanity. Because of emailing, I did not have to explain over and over again the latest episode of my cancer treatment. Instead, I was able to send a single note to my for everyone. This saved me from he- hearing and saying the words out loud. It was a couple of phone calls and real conversations with my husband, Matt, my mum, my sisters, my close friends as well. But the emails made the initial reporting. Easy and it's lasted the support I sought for my wider network 
In writing this memoir, I culled through realms of those emails. My aim was to capture the different voices, loving intentions I received from my everyone. The collection proved that I was never alone. I could count on my prayers, positive energies, virtual hugs, and real embraces to keep me focused. Hugs, the electoral panic anxiety. I learned to be courageous, thanks to my every, my everyone. I love they they wrapped around me.